This is Your Choice, the Three Option Podcast, hosted by Aaron Smith. Everyone, this is the Your Choice, Three Option Podcast. I am your host, Baron Smith. Huh? Wait a minute, what you say? What? The, the Steelers? The Steelers are in the playoffs. <laughs> Last episode, I mentioned that this episode would be about mentorship, but this Antonio Brown thing got me thinking. I want to talk about this from a different perspective, though. So my question is, how do you think people view you at the workplace? I remember going through a recertification inspection at a hospital I used to work at. And one of my coworkers said, man, <laughs> you look very calm and confident. If I was in your shoes, I wouldn't be able to take it. Now, what that person didn't know was that I was a physical and mental wreck that was about to explode on the inside. I used to love that old deodorant saying from that commercial, never let them see you sweat. That's how you should be at the workplace. My calm demeanor helped me climb the corporate ladder because people felt comfortable trusting me. Great leadership stars were having the confidence to make great decisions while being under pressure. Antonio Brown could have been right in that situation, but the only thing people is going to remember is how he left. If you're unstable, angry, and uncontrollable, don't blame the organization for looking past you when it's time to get promoted. Also, being mean don't make you a good leader. I repeat, being mean don't make you a good leader. Being fair and honest makes a great leader. So for all the people that say, I didn't come here to make friends, you're right, but you still have to get along with everyone. So before I leave, let me set the record straight. I am not hating on Antonio Brown. I am actually a fan. I just want people to think before they let their emotions speak for them. Please subscribe to my YouTube page. Let me know how you feel about this topic. Please, please, please leave a comment. My new book, Your Choice, Three Options, is available at baronsmith.net. The next episode, we will be talking about mentorship. Now, here's a quote from my book, 100 Quotes for Different Folks. You can live with regrets, but you have to pray for forgiveness. I repeat myself. You can live with regrets, but you have to pray for forgiveness. Thank you. I'll see y'all soon. I don't ask for nothing. I make my own path. And when the smoke clears, we'll be last to laugh. So you had this with the struggle. I am a beast. Welcome to my city that's filled with hatred. And-